Good evening, guys, or good day. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So, in this episode, we'll show you how to create a payslip. You know, um, to give payslip to your employees. So, basically, I have two tables. So, I have the employee here. In the employee, I have all the details: their basic salary, transportation, allowances. Okay, and right here, uh, I have the pay slip report. So basically, what will happen is, if you want to make a new pay slip, you can just click add. Then there is a serial number for the pay slip. It's automatically generated. So let's say I want to make a pay slip for the month of June, and year is 2022. So here. I will just uh, place an employee ID and it's automatically generated all the details of the employee. Let's say I want employee ID 1. Okay, so he's from HR and accounts. He is manager. He uses the bank details. His basic salary, housing, transportation, mobile allowance. Let's say if, he, if this employee has an absent, you can put the amount of absent here. If he has a loan, so basically this is a deduction. Okay, then let's say there is no deduction for this employee, then total earnings. So if there is any deduction, let's say loan, twenty dollars. Let's say so here this is net salary. Okay. Say insurance twenty five. Okay, and then. Okay, so this is the, once you save it, it's automatically generate a PDF here, wherein you can view. So this is how it looked like the payslip. So this is the payslip, as you can see. So this is, so you can print and give to your employee. So I will show you how to generate or how to create this simple application okay so this is very useful for those small companies who would like to give base lead to their employees you don't need to buy expensive uh, like you know uh, apps or complicated apps this is basic one so let's go to our base lead uh, or app editor okay so the first thing you need to do, guys, is let's check our database. I'll show you how the database looks like. Okay. So in my database, guys, uh, I have just two tables. I mean three tables. Okay. So first table is the employee. So you have to fill up all the employee details here. And also you can do that by going to the app. You know, once the app is created, you can start filling up the details of the employee here. Okay. Then I have the employee ID, employee name, department, designation, the bank details, basic salary, whatever you would like to add in this table. Then in my second table, I have the, this is where the payroll or the pay slip uh, generated. This is like a logbook. So you have to put a serial number, serial number, of pay slip, the date that you generate, what is the month and the year, employee ID, then here, up to here. So you can just copy this whole table and paste it here then i made it as a color coding for you to easy to to see so in this color coding here this is the deductions so you can add so many deductions as you like so i i added three absent loan and insurance then the last portion of the spreadsheet is the calculation so i have the total earnings the total deduction and net salary once you created your database um so there's one thing serial number so serial number guys basically if you wanted to start 
with a specific number. So here, I put already 1,000. Then, down here, we have to put a query function. So as you can see, the formula is query payroll. So this one, this thing here. So basically what will happen, if you put, let's say, 1004, 1005, it copies to the third table here. Okay. So this is where we're going to start our the serial number for page three. It's better to put a serial number. At least you can uh, monitor or you can use this serial number as a key column in your payslip generator report. Okay, so our, our database is done. Then you have to go to your application. But before you do that, if you want to generate a PDF, just make sure that your account is at least a at least a, what do you call this, a core subscription, okay, upshift core. Okay, so once you create the, make a new app, then choose your own data, you can fill up this. Then once you create it, uh, you have to go to your data here, and uh, let's review the first table, which is the, I already added all the tables, so I have one, two, three. Let's talk only this employee, page the report, and serial number. This one later on. Later on, we're going to talk. So employee, I added already the table, so let's review the table. So in my table, I can add, update, and delete. As you like, if you want only to add, you don't need to delete, it's fine as well. Then let's review the columns. So in columns, guys, my row key is the employee ID. So this is the unique number for the employee. So this is to avoid duplicate. Employee name, department. In the department, I can put it as a new. So you can add um, departments, which one, which department are they. Okay. And then I have the designation, the position. You can keep it as enum or you can keep it as a text then bank details i have the basic salary their housing their transportation mobile allowance okay so this is for the employee table then once you added the employee table you go to add the second one which is the payroll report which is this second column table here okay Okay, so let's review the column. So, I mean the table. So, in this table, guys, my row key is the serial number, which is this one. And, um, and then the date, month of, you can keep it as in, in new. So, you can add the, all of these details here like that up to December then in year I keep it as a new so you can add many years as you like in this case I added only two which is 2022 and 2023 then in the employee ID I keep it as reference okay so reference meaning if you add a payroll a pay slip here down here you have just to select employees see it generates the data whatever you feed in the employee details it will generate here okay so keep it as in the uh, reference then the reference table <clears throat> is the employee so make sure that the uh, in employee table, the label is, you can see the label, guys. Make sure it's a number, like employee ID. <clears throat> if you put employee name here, so you will end up, um, if you go here, employee ID, you will end up uh, seeing employee names here. Okay? Then, let's go back to our base slip. 
generator table and over here so we, we wanted to put a formula in employee name for us in order to put the, this number it generates the data here so employee id number two should be json stain as you can see it's here it's json So we have to apply a formula in the employee name. You go down and look for the auto compute. So the formula for auto compute to auto fill the columns, you have to use the formula called any, then pair it with select employee. This is the table name, which is this one, and then what is the column name that you want to populate the or to autofill the data is employee name okay so employee name which is employee id is equals to this row so the employee id of this is equals to this row that employee id so once you get the check mark so meaning your formula is correct so what we're going to do, just copy this whole formula, okay. then go back to, then go down, go to the department, to the next column that you want to populate, and go down here, and then just paste, then uh, edit only this part. So this is department. So you put department here. So it will auto-populate the data. Then until you reach down until here. Let's say here. Okay. As you can see, up, up to basic salary. So here. Auto-compute. Just change the this one, this part, basic salary. Change it. Then once you done for that, so you already achieved this uh, autofill column. So we wanted we we want to avoid the edit. You know we cannot edit this in order in order to do that. So you have to apply a editable if formula in each column. So here in employee name, you have to go down and scroll down here. There is what we call update behavior, editable if. Okay. So use this formula, guys. Is blank this meaning if this column is empty, you can edit. Okay. So you copy all of this, and then uh, go down to each column, desired column that you want to auto populate. Here, for example, here. And just paste and update behavior here, editable. Okay. Once you're done for that, you can achieve this thing like this. You now you know you cannot change anything. Okay. Okay. Once you're done for that, uh, once you're done for that, you have you need to check to check the serial number. Okay. So how are we gonna uh, generate the serial number we need where is it? Serial number here so you have to put a formula for the serial number okay so here in the formula guys for the serial number always put in initial value so we're gonna put max we're gonna use max formula serial number which is the table name here and what is the column so column serial number plus one so basically when you created um, let's say here as you can see the it's one zero zero three so the next will be one zero zero four here so it's automatically generated so but before you do that uh, before you do that you have to add the table which is the serial number table here okay so I already added it here so let's review the column it just has two columns, so the key and then the label. Make sure 
we remove this thousand separator. That's all. Once you added it, uh, go to the payroll report or to the payslip generator and apply the formula, which is uh, in auto compute this max formula. Okay. Then, once you apply for that, also you need to use the same formula in editable here is blank this row this one okay but you cannot edit okay so we are done for that now let's go to uh so you repeat the tables right and in the table make sure we added the virtual column once you're done for that, you will add one virtual column only, guys. Here. Okay. So I added one virtual column file. So to add the virtual column, guys, uh, it's easy. But first, we will show you. So I added a virtual column, which is a file. Okay. So I want this. When you generate a receipt, basically goes like this. This is the file name. Okay. So this is the file name 103 dash the name of the employee. So this is the serial number. This is the name of the employee. This is the month. This is the year. So I want it like concatenate formula. So so serial number, comma, this double quote text, dash like this. So this is how I added the this is how I, I named the file once I created the PDF. Okay, so just go up here, add the virtual column, okay, and apply that formula. Then down here in the facelift report, down here there is a uh, here total earnings, total deduction, net salary. So you have to put a formula in this case. So formula, it's simple. So let's go to the, let's say total earnings, go to this formula. You have just to add the basic uh, addition. So basic salary plus housing plus transportation plus mobile allowance. So this is his, the employee's total earnings. Then in deduction, you only have to add what are the columns for deduction? So basic math goes here. Where is it? Here. So basic, this is the deduction. Deduction, this one. Okay. Then, and uh, net salary. So net salary, guys, it is just the total earnings minus total deduction column. Okay. Once you added that, um, let's go to our UX view. So when you add the new table, the first that you will add, it will appear here is the employee. So just edit it. So I already added the employee UX here. In employee UX, so I keep it as a, a deck view and sort by department. Okay. You, you can do also table view. Okay. Then right here, show action bar, of course. You need to show the action bar, you know, here. This one. Then you can change the display here. The display, if how, how your shortcut appears in the app here. So you can choose, okay. So once you added that one, you already added the view for employee, then we need to add this view, this basically report view. To do that, new view, see new view, select which, uh, which column, I mean which table, then you can add. Since we will only add, since I already added it, so there's the basic report here. Okay. So I want it as a table view. Then the location, rightmost, will be here. 
and uh, I want to sort it by date. Okay, and group by and net group aggregates net salary. At least you will know how much you are. Did you created the amount? I mean, how much? How much? The amount that day that you created it's here. Okay. Then you can change the display, how your uh, shortcut look like in the application here. Once you added that one, then only this two table. Okay. Take note, guys. This serial number you don't need to add a view for this. Okay, just keep it as, as in table. No need for UX view. So I only have one and two views. Then, once you finish for this one, you have to create a, a robot or automation here. So you have to, cre to create a new boot. Okay, so we need to generate a PDF. As you can see, guys, if you want to, you know, add the new data, for example, you know, if you want to add the new data, then it will create a PDF. Okay, so automatically generate the PDF um, for this application. So in order to achieve that, so let's just press new boot. Okay, and then you you can name this boot, let's say, uh, yes, or whatever, uh, PDF, basically. Okay. Then, and create custom boot. Okay. Once, once you create, configure event. Okay. Then, you have to choose an event. So, I don't want to, since I already created it. I'll just explain to you how to create it. Okay. So, so boot. Then you have to create a new event. New event, guys. So let me show you. This is the boot name. I name it as generate basic. So once you create it, here you click this. It will show you here. So in this side, I name it as first stage. So first stage is I want to generate a PDF if there is adds an update in case you want to edit the face link so it will generate new pdf okay then once you're done for that uh, okay once you created an event the next thing you have to create is process okay just click new process then i already created new process here second stage i i name it create pdf paste it so what you want to create you can create you can also send email send sms call a script so this time we want to create a pdf file so click create pdf file then uh you have to create a template later on i explain to you so the, the type is pdf okay then down here you can keep it empty the file folder part then file name prefix so re you remember uh, we created the virtual column here let me show you virtual column in employee sorry face slip the payroll report here so in payroll report guys Let's view the columns. So remember, I added the virtual column here. I called it as file. Okay. So basically, this is the name of the file when you create a PDF. So it will contain the serial number, employee. So just copy this, the one that you created, the virtual column. Copy and go back there automation in the task okay in the 
the task I have here, put here. Okay, once it's put there, then disable time stamp, then choose attachment. You want portrait, you want landscape, you want custom paper, it's possible as well. Then once you set that one, you need to create, you have to click this. Okay, create. Once you click it, it will generate the link, then view. Okay, first create, click, then this one, once it's done, click view. Okay. So, the only thing you have to do is you go to here to file, page setup. You can choose margin here and type of paper. So you have just to, it's simple, up here you can put your logo. So the important thing is, these are the data, okay? These are the data. So you have just to rearrange the columns. So let's say employee name, you put these two arrows and column like this. I hope you can see it very clear. Designation, so you have just to rearrange your your columns here so basically when you create it will just pop out here all so you have just to rearrange you put the columns accordingly accordingly to your design okay you can add images as well and then once you rearrange this you have to test your boot okay so go here boot there is like a test you test you will know that your boot is or your automation is correct if you click any of this it will not show error okay it's like showing like this meaning our see like this so this is how you test if it's everything is okay all right then once you're done for that we have to add a new table. This is what we call files PDF here. So in order to add, just click new table. Instead of sheets in Google, click this documents in Google Drive. So select collection of files. Look for the look for the in your Google Drive here. Let me show you. It's normally called AppSheet and data. Look for it. This is the app name and files. Okay. So here, look for AppSheet data payslip. This is the file. You click it, select, and then once once you select it. It will upload it here so since i already created it let's review the table so i want it only to read only i don't want to edit it then view columns so it it's these columns are automatically generated so keep it id key column as id and then file is label so show only this file the rest click do not show so only this column I want to show this file column once you created that one you go to ux then you create a new view okay new view but this time select the pdf files okay i already created it okay see in but this case i keep it as reference i don't want to show it in my application as you can see I have just two tables, so I don't want to show it. Then keep it as reference, then scroll down, keep it as a deck view, as you can see. Then scroll down, primary header, only the file name. Then the rest, none, none. Then once you save, click save. Okay, so you, you we already created the PDF generator. 
the second thing that we need to do is here you know when you created a file when you created a file here this icon so you can view the base tip so this is as you can see guys the name is uh, example this one the name is Jason Steen serial number 1004 so serial number Jason Steen 1004 then so we have to create that icon okay in order to do that we have to go to behavior here new action so uh, select so we want it to show in this page slip report here so page slip report sorry payroll report then go to another view within this app okay you can rename it since i already added it let me show you here then you have to use the formula link to filtered view so files pdf detail you can get it you can get this uh, location by simply go to detail files pdf detail okay you can just simply copy this here uh, behavior here link to view you can copy this this whole file this one on up to here then you can just uh, paste a here here but change the first one to i mean the formula to link to filtered view so file speed that dash underscore detail there are two coded text here we, then comma file is equals to file so basically the pdf file and then the file name is equal so you know when you create when you save uh, when you create a pdf so this is the file name 1001 1002 so it's equal did you see that once you do that you click save appearance you can change the uh, appearance of it then how you're gonna display it Pro prominently meaning you will display on the top okay once you're done for that you will save okay then click save then it will show you the this icon okay so now let me explain to you you already cre created it right so i want it let's create a new one i want guys if uh, i'm creating a pdf i mean a payslip i want it once once i save once i save this data the save it will display the pdf it goes like this see it's display the PDF here so in order to achieve that it's just simple you go to UX look for the table which is this table page slip report uh, 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 what happened okay page slip look for the table form here so go down down here there is a behavior here change this normally it's uh, it's auto here so look for the behavior we already created view page the behavior right it's here right so keep it as where is it? Okay, this is the report form so here so choose this one okay place the people then click save then once you save it uh once you create the e what do you call this e pdf file it will save 
it will show you this view. So that's how you create this simple uh, payslip generator. Any questions regarding this application, how to create it, please leave a comment at the description or I mean in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe as well uh, for my next video. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.